Hello everybody, we are back at Dollywood Theme Park here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. They just kicked off their summer celebration. Big Bear Mountain Roller Coaster has finally opened and we're gonna ride it for the first time, try some new food, do a bunch of fun stuff. So let's get this summer party started. I could hear the train whistle and see the smoke going by. We're here at the front entrance for the Smoky Mountain Summer Celebration. The summer celebration will be going on through August 6th. This is our first time being back to Dollywood since Big Bear Mountain Coaster has opened, so I think we're gonna head straight there. Lead the way to Big Bear. Thunderhead. The summer celebration is themed like a summer road trip and everything is decorated like roadside attractions. It's really cute. Oh, I love these big fountains. I wish I could jump right in them. Made our way back to Wildwood Grove. That's where Big Bear Mountain is located. I love going through these cute caves. And here it is all done. It looks so nice. I can't wait to get on it, see it running. Oh. We're looking at 35 minutes for Big Bear. Not too bad, actually. It's all the way in the back <laughs> of Wildwood Grove. And here's the whole ride area all open. All right, here we go. Very exciting to finally get on after anticipating this for so long. I guess we just follow the bear parents. Big Bear search today. Smoky Mountain Adventure Outpost. I like this music. His head in your kitchen door. No way he could fit his whole body. I swear, it's a big there and that cinnamon bread. Never wake a sleeping bear. Signs in Wildwood Grove. Today I'm speaking with Sheriff Miles. Sheriff, you live in this community all the time. So it looks like we're going out in a vehicle on an expedition. Uh, to find Big Bear, and it also looks like it is raining. Are you ready to get wet, Sam? It's so hot, I'm already wet. That's what I was thinking. It's It'll maybe be refreshing. We've waited so long to ride this that I don't care, rain or shine, I'm getting on. I like how it goes, boo, boo, like a, a bear. That was my bear impression. Boo, boo. We're going into another tent now. We're clearly on an expedition hunting for that bear. What do we got, like honey in here maybe? And water bottles. We love bears. We're about to step out into that rain and I tell you what. All right, looks like the rain has pretty much calmed down. It's still sprinkling a little but barely anything. The sun's coming back out. Good, 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 good. Just make sure you're bare right. Today's search party will head toward Big Bear Falls, the site of several recent reported sightings. Very low height requirement. All right, you know the drill. Ready, we're in row number six. There are cubbies to put your stuff in. And off we go. Big Bear Mountain is the longest roller coaster here at Dollywood, covering six acres of land. The track is 3,990 feet long. There are three launches, multiple airtime hills, high-speed carousel turns. You pass behind a waterfall, through tunnels, there's a big spurt of water that comes up, reaching a height of 66 feet and a speed of 48 miles per hour. This is a great family coaster. It feels very rewritable, like you're just flying through this expedition having so much fun. Now this is Dollywood's official POV of the ride and it was made before it opened. So the landscaping looks better now than it does in this POV, as you'll see from my footage before and after this. We really, really enjoyed it. The seats were actually really comfortable. We both fit really comfortably. It looks really small but they're actually deep, so you sink into a nice, cushy seat. It's really fun. It doesn't go upside down, no inversions, but the turns, the banked turns, tilt so much that it almost feels like you're going upside down at some parts. Woo! 
It's really long and really fun. Yeah, we really, really enjoyed it. Dollywood also has a roller coaster called Fire Chaser Express, which is also a really great and fun family coaster. They're both different, but I think they're on a similar level that like this could be your kid's first roller coaster or even an adult. If you don't do roller coasters and you're maybe a little bit scared of thrills, this is something that you could try. It's kind of like a gateway to slowly get you towards more and more thrilling experiences. Uh, very smooth. This is a brand new coaster, so as it should be. But really, really fun. Uh, we both very much enjoyed it. There are lockers back here, but they also have cubbies, which I love that, where you can put your belongings in. Yeah, I love it. And then the gift shop back here, Mountain Grove Merchants, they have a ton of Big Bear Mountain merchandise. I love the waterfall, of course, and the water that sprays up as you go through. The landscaping looks nice, but it definitely looks new. As all the plants grow, I think it's gonna look more lush and lived in, and that's only gonna make it look better and better. Now we do wanna try some of the special summer food, but it just started pouring. So we just came inside Till and Harvest, and we're gonna get some food here because we're here and we're hungry. Sam got a loaded sweet potato and I got the loaded mac and cheese. Interesting combo, it's like barbecue with mac and cheese on top, not too shabby. They both have similar toppings, but yours has the guac. That's good, I think I like that better. Yeah, try mine too. They're both good, but I feel like this mac and cheese is a little watery. I prefer it creamier. So the sweet potato I think is better for now. On some past visits, we did purchase the refillable mug and it is a really good deal. But today, since we're gonna do the tasting pass, I don't think we're gonna do that. Well, that bout of rain left as fast as it came and now it stopped raining. But I feel like it might just kind of rain on and off all day. So we'll just be prepared for that. Still a little sprinkle, but not too shabby. The food area was slammed the minute it started raining, but now everyone's clearing out. One of my favorite attraction songs ever, Mystery Mind song. Good old mystery mine. I gotta stop in to see my pal. Oh. He's a very sleepy vulture. The dangers inside the mystery mine are legendary. So if y'all hear someone whistling in there and it ain't you, I'd run lickety pronto to the nearest exit and don't look back till you get to the potato shack where you can relax. Hmm. Now on second thought, y'all might be safer in the mine. <laughs> Gotta go on a quick ride on Thunderhead too. This is one of our favorite wooden coasters. We love riding it here. It's definitely like a classic wooden coaster feel. Very jittery and yeah, it was fun. We love it. One of the roadside attractions for the summer festival, Kite Sky is back. Very pretty. Another of the roadside attractions, the water hose fountain, is not on right now because the sky is already a water hose fountain. Now this is what we're here for. As part of Dollywood summer celebration, they have all sorts of new food and drink items that we are gonna try some. We purchased the summer celebration tasting pass and it comes with five different items. And to start out, we got the hibachi chicken skillet with soy glazed chicken, garlic and scallions, fried rice, carrots, and peas, and then got the Mountain Berry Lemonade, which is Minute Maid Lemonade mixed with strawberry and raspberry syrups. It's really good. It's really, really sweet. You can taste the syrup. Very fruity berry flavor, really tasty. All right, let's try this. It's a small, it's little, you know, sample sizes. It's not amazing. I'd say it's all right. It'll do. That's my rating. Okay. 
Okay. So they're making an announcement saying there's lightning within 10 miles, so they're going to suspend operations of all water rides and elevated rides. So like Fire Chaser Express, I guess. Uh, everything. everything. Almost every ride here. Because the next thing we want to do is the Gazillion Bubble Show, which is one of the special summer things, and every ride is pretty much closed right now, I'm going to go ahead and get in line. All right, they opened the doors about 45 minutes before the show. We got our seats, and now we're just gonna chill and wait for the gazillion bubble show. Welcome to the world's greatest bubble show. The bubbles are coming. They spread out. This is what we're all here for, the bubbles. Healthy bubble. I got one, I got a smoke one. And this is what we're all here for, bubbles filling the audience. This is it. This is our moment. Ooh, bubbles. I feel like we're getting a shower. We're all connected. Through bubbles. Look, even the sound guy popped a bubble. There's one. Boop, boop, oh. oh yeah, now, now here comes the laser part. He's gonna do a whole laser thing. I like this, I like this. And here's how you know the weather's improved. The hoses are on, the sun is out. So it's like the perfect amount of time to let that little rain pass. You know what, one thing about summer, and it's true in Florida, and it's true in Tennessee is, yes, it means sunshine and fun summer days, but it also means rain and storms sometimes. This is funny. This is kind of an updated version. I saw a sign last time, but not so nicely made. When you go up to the top, of a lot of the roller coasters, you will find bees and wasps up there, and they're kind of everywhere. But normally they don't bother people. Normally. Just gotta try to not bother them. I don't know though. Just something to be aware of. Another of the summer decorations, roadside attractions. They got the largest bean can. It's a classic. I think last year it was a can of Bush's beans. It might have been. I they, think. Do you know what they need? Next year, Heinz baked beans. The real good beans. They keep mixing it up, different yeah. beans each Great year. Oil. I like that. I uh, like when, that. when Heinz is there, I will crack that can open and eat it cold with a spoon. Always got to stop and admire the water clock for a little bit. Such a neat thing. about time to use our tasting pass again. So we're here at Miss Lillian's BBQ Corner. And I think we're gonna try the Southern Fried Corn and the Pork Belly on a stick. All right, I'm actually impressed with how these look. They look 
really, really good. The presentation's really cute. The stick is huge, like a s'more stick. Smells really good. Very cute presentation. I'm excited to dig in. Hunk of meat. On a stick. Pork belly's a pretty, you know, usually tender, yummy meat. Mmm. Mmm. They're really good. Baked beans, staple of summer. Good? You're gonna like those. Sweet. Nice baked beans. This is a new one. I've never tried fried corn, so it looks like they just fried a corn on the gob. <laughs> it's good. Really good. Now we need two more. Like kind of sweet, but the corn is so good. I've never had fried corn. Now I always want fried <laughs> And it comes with like a little ranch to dip it in, but I don't know if it needs it, but we will dip it. We'll dip it. That is such good pork belly. Some of the best I've had in a long time. It tastes like Homemade, like really, really, really good, and we're both loving the fried corn too. So, mm -hmm. winners. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed that so much that we actually went back for another. I really like the sweet barbecue sauce, and I don't know, that is just that is good tasting summery food that totally redeemed the first thing we tried that was just okay. This is beyond okay. We're right next to the Valley Theater, and looks like we have Forever Country performing. Well, listen, we're right next to the grist mill, so I think by now you know what that means. It must be done, and it must be done now. Hot, fresh cinnamon bread made daily. I love this spot because you usually have some live music. And then just so you know, you can also get cinnamon bread at the Spotlight Bakery. But it's kind of our tradition to get it at the grist mill, you know? And this time of the day, not a big line at all. This is great. <gasps> Look at this, wow. I have it like to myself almost. It smells so good in here. It smells so good in here. You can see them making it fresh every day. Oh, someone left a little chicken here. Hot fresh cinnamon bread because we've been wishing for some Dollywood cinnamon bread. So I got both the apple butter and the frosting and it's so hot that you could burn your hands on it but it is so delicious and you see how it comes in these like bands here and we have learned from experience from eating these multiple times to go in with a fork and a knife cut yourself a nice chunk and make sure you get all the ooey gooey stuff on the bottom. You learn the tricks over time, the tricks of the trade. See on the bottom? Ooey gooey and then you can dip or cover with the sauces the icing or their delicious cooling apple butter and we will do both you have to buy the apple butter right i did i bought it extra i said give me that give me that apple butter dang it that looks good mm. i've been waiting this is it Oh, this is the moment. This I've is been, the moment. I've been talking about for a long time. When you get all the yummy, warm cinnamon goo at the bottom, wonderful, right? Oh yeah, so good. It doesn't even need the sauces, but it just, you know, adds a little something. Mm. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to get all the juice at the bottom. You gotta really take it for a swim. Take it for a dive in there. That is what it's all about. That is better than the icing or the apple butter. Not snorkeling, you gotta scuba. You gotta scuba dive in there. You gotta get in there. And the rain has begun again, on and off all day, kind of like I said. So good thing we got this table with the umbrella. And we're just kind of hanging out here enjoying the cinnamon bread. Whoa, that just got really, really intense, really, really quickly. It went from a little sprinkle to a downpour. It's so pretty though. A summer rain, there's something beautiful about it. Oh boy. That is torrential. So we've been under this cover for quite a while, but now it's raining light enough that the umbrella will do, and we're gonna keep on going. Because there is more to see and do here at Dollywood today. There's a sign here that says, due to the weather, Dollywood Express will experience a delay in operation. So some of the shows and rides have been running intermittently or not running today because of the weather, but a lot still are running. 
Even the train is down for weather right now. Good old Cinderella. We do love the train ride here at Dollywood. It is beautiful and so fun. So yeah, right now, almost all the rides are down because of lightning in the area, but I think I know at least one ride that should hopefully be open. And of course that ride is Blazing Fury. And we've got the Noodle Takeover over here. A fun indoor coaster. For higher height range than Big Ben. Huh. Oh, we love it. Did you hear that? But I like it. It's because there's an ace roller coaster event happening here. So there's a lot of enthusiasts, so that's a lot of fun. I actually like that. I wish everyone did that every time. Stuff. It's just such a classic. I like it so much. It is just pure fun. Yeah, it's kind of old-fashioned. All the animatronics are kind of like rocking back and forth. Even though it's old, it really feels like you're in like an old burning town and building and mine yeah. or whatever. It feels very charming and fun and it's the closest this park has to a dark ride because yeah. it's a dark indoor roller coaster. But I do wish Dollywood had, I say this yeah. every time, but I wish, I don't know if I say it in the video, but I say it between us, yeah. that Dollywood had some dark rides. I think they'd be really popular here and I think it'd just be nice to have some slow moving like an indoor boat ride, an yeah. indoor dark ride. But either way, this is the closest we got here and we love it. Fire in the hole! <laughs> I really liked everybody saying yeah, it. Yeah, that was really fun. And now it's time for Noodle Takeover. The road trip continues. Noodle rainbow. Noodle noodle. Let's see if Tennessee Tornado is running. I'm not sure if it's up. Let's try to check. Oh. Temporarily delayed. Go on, you got this. Mm, come on. Close. Right, because they're filled with water, so it's throwing off the Hmm. Oh, close enough. I say fire in the hole. Oh, it's it's running, uh, but with no riders on right now. And Sam got one in when I wasn't I looking. I know you went first. I believe you. Look. Sam is starting to rain a lot though again. Oh boy, just a lovely rainy summer day here in Tennessee. Try to wait here. Okay, Sam's gonna go on and be a guinea pig. Okay, I'm gonna try it in the rain. And then if it's okay, I'll go on after right, with you. Because there's like no right. line now. Keep okay. Okay. Have fun. Alright, let's see. Is he on this one? There he is. Front row. It's, it's really short. It's a little bit rattly, but you know, it's a fun one. 
So I did the test and I've learned a few things uh -huh. so when we go on now uh -huh. that I would advise. Okay. One, front row, a little sting in the eyes with the rain. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I know Two, that feeling. Don't sit on the ponchos. Right, no wonder you didn't have yeah. the hood up and I was wondering why. Yeah, so I've learned that, so now when we go on, we'll sit towards the back. Okay, so I got another poncho, I'm gonna pop one on and then let's ride. Let's go. It's okay, fun, but all right. A little wet. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Well, since we're already ponchoed up, we're already wet from riding in the rain, and there's a short line on Fire Chaser Express, we might as well keep the party going over on the coaster tracks. Summer. Zero minutes, love that. We're gonna get the full fire hose experience. Yeah, true. Here we go. It's go time. Ready? It's go time, recruit. There's a fire on the hill. Light a fire and let's go. It's swimming back to him. It's swimming back to him. Cooking. Cooking in your plasticky poncho. Yeah. It was fun though. Yeah, it was fun. We sat in the back row. Yeah, it feels a lot more intense after riding Big Bear. I would say this is more yeah. intense for a kid to ride. I think so too. It's a family ride too, and one that you know younger kids can ride also. But there's these like accelerations. It's a little more like what's stop the word? It's kind of stop and goy, and it is a little bit more intense than Big Bear. I gotta say, Big Bear is more smooth and yeah. flowy. Yeah, I would say Big Bear's probably a, a better first coaster than this. Yeah, which but I don't I mean, think I would have said that before this. Yeah, but this is still really, yeah, really like, fun. And those love two it. are a, a great combo. Yeah. Another one of the attractions they have set up for the summer thing are these foam pits. There's one for adults and one for kids. They did close them right now because of the weather, but we've seen people play in them before and they look really fun and wild. So hopefully, if you're coming out for the summer celebration, they'll be open when you come out. Because look how fun that is. It's been open earlier and may open again later, but either way, this is something fun you can probably look forward to as long as the weather holds up. One of the attractions tonight is a dance party. So we're gonna enjoy that for a little bit. The dance party has begun. Step on anybody's blue suede shoes. Hey, Dawson. Yeah. One more night ride. One more ride on Big Bear. It's raining. It's nighttime. We got our ponchos. We're gonna ride Big Bear Mountain again. All the dance parties going on. Crossing. Crossing. Here, can you put my bag in the thing? Yeah, me too. Welcome back, riders. How was your search?
I'll tell you what, Big Bear at night was so much fun. It's actually even better at night than during the day. It's such a huge ride. It like is over so much of an expanse of land. This ride is so, so pretty at night and the waterfall and everything, it looks gorgeous. It's really pretty, especially lit with the sweet summer nights and the dance party, even though the dance party stopped happening because of the rain, but they're still playing the music and the fog and the lasers. It just makes Big Bear look even better. They made an announcement that due to the inclement weather, the drone show for tonight is canceled, but there are still nighttime festivities happening. The dance party, a lot of rides are running again, like Big Bear, which we just rode. And there's a really fun atmosphere in the park. <laughs> right when I pressed record, that song just came on. We are actually gonna start making our way towards the front of the park since they did cancel the drone show, but we're not sure if they're still gonna do fireworks, but if they do, we'll probably see them as we're walking away. You know how. That me now. Close the dance party too. We're making our own. She likes to move it. Move it. <laughs> making our own dance party. Splashing in the puddles. <laughs> it still looks cool. It kind of looks even more cool in the rain. Here's a few things to remember. Don't be smooching your girl in there. Save it for kissing yourself goodbye. Oh, look at that, the fireworks. What a fun way to close out the evening. Even though they canceled the drone show tonight, something feels really special and magical about seeing the fireworks here as we're walking out. Definitely a memorable summer night. Caps off a great summer night. Lick some fireworks. Mmm, nice. They're popping off, literally. And that's it for our day here at Dollywood, celebrating their summer festival, the sweet summer nights. Even though they didn't do the drones, they still did the fireworks as we saw. We still got a little bit of the dance party. We had a ton of fun. And most importantly, we got to ride Big Bear Mountain twice. And we really, really loved it. There's a lot of fun elements, a lot of like those banked turns. And there's this one element where it kind of goes a little one way and goes a little to the other way and it kind of feels like you're floating for a second there. And that's that's kind of my favorite part, but I really liked how at night the headlights on your vehicle are on and everything just looks cool. The waterfall's all lit up, the big bear growl. There could definitely be more theming added in, like a bear or anything, but I feel like as the foliage grows, as the plants and trees around the area grow, it's gonna look more lush. But just by itself, the coaster stands alone and is so, so fun. It takes up a lot of space. It's really wide. So it makes it feel long, which I really like. It doesn't feel like a tight little compact coaster, which you know, those have their place, they're their own thing. But I love a long, flowing, floating coaster, just taking up so much space in the park and how big and long it feels. And 
Oh, also, <laughs> don't forget how good one cinnamon bread. I've been waiting for it. But two, pork belly on a stick and fried corn. Honestly, those were the winners. Yeah, was so I was really good. surprised. They were really good. Yeah, I, if you're coming out for the summer celebration, get that. Highly recommend it. Yeah, me too. Also, cinnamon bread, forever Just, recommend. You know, I've been talking about it for a while. <laughs> it's so hot and fresh. Yeah, delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I, on the other hand, Right now, I'm not that hot and fresh. I'm a little soggy. A little bit soggy. Here, can you hold this? Sure. Just sure. hold that right there. Oh, that's better. Oh, sometimes my arm gets tired of holding it. Yeah, we are soggy, we are wet, but we had such a fun day. We love this park, right? We love this park. Yeah, the theming's beautiful, the rides are fun, the ride ops are really nice. Uh, we met and talked to a lot of nice people today. There was that Ace Coaster Convention going on, so we saw a lot of friends and made friends and talked to people, and that was really fun too. And I like how they all chimed in screaming out fire in the hole. That was the On best. Blazing Fury. I, that should always happen. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, me too. Thank you for hanging out with us today at Dollywood and yesterday we hung out in Pigeon Forge and did some fun things so check that out if you haven't already we do really enjoy coming up to this area and it's about um, 10 11 hour drive from our home in Orlando so it's uh, something that we can do as like a weekend trip or something so with that we are gonna head back to the car you know get dry get showered get cozy and uh, get some sleep and there's more fun to come so stay tuned for that thank you again for hanging out with us we are sending you, both of us, a ton of love. And we'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay tuned. Bye!